Hi there. Uh, well, I guess um, autumn's starting, so a good time to be in the garage doing things. Today I'm going to be swapping out my uh, front leg shields. Excuse the uh, road traffic there. Um, now I say swapping out rather than just removing because I'm going to be taking all the runners off etc and put them on the new set that I've got. Uh, so if you just want to remove your leg shields for whatever purpose, some of what I'm doing won't be appropriate but I think it will be useful. So let's get in the garage and get started. Well you can see I've already taken the glove box off. This is fairly straightforward. Inside the glove box you'll find there are four chrome domed nuts which you undo. Um, that will then bring it forward and you disconnect your um, speedometer button and uh, the USB port there. So they come off fairly straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off these indicators. Um, now the wiring just unplugs and it's colour coded so you can't get it wrong when you uh, when you put them back on you won't have a, uh, a left indicator indicating right uh, so with those out the way we simply need to take off two bolts so this one I already started on So they're built off and now I'm going to remove the uh, rubber edging from both sides. So having removed the indicators and the two side rubbers, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take the shroud off the uh, radiator uh, using the four uh, Allen screws that you can see here. Now having removed the cowling off the radiator I'm going to remove these four bolts here and lower the radiator down onto this towel that I've put on the floor to protect it uh, I'll do that either side that's my next job so with all the bolts out that should just now lower down there put that there just to keep it safe and that gives me better better access to the bottom of the frame and the leg shield so the runners are held on with these spacers and the Phillips head screw there and uh, you get those from underneath don't be too enthusiastic tighten these up again just get them firm um, because you don't want to break them off when you're doing it now that's all of the floor runners off um, you'll note that the outer floor runners are slightly longer than the inner ones uh, now I'm going to remove this nut here, which I've obviously loosened. Um, I take that off, and I think what we're needing is these four Allen screws either side, and hopefully that will release uh, the, the leg shields themselves. So I'm going to take the cover off the lock itself, and that's it. An Allen screw there. Now the screw. Now we've got what looks like a self tapper here. I'll take that out. And that covers away. Easing the shield down and lifting it forward, edging the bottom out, the whole thing comes away. And that is removing the leg shields. Well, with the leg shields removed, I'll just give a little tidy up there and um, refit the new ones. Um, like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos like this. And I hope that's been of help to people.